Hey everyone, today my husband and I wanted to share some cards that we believe are staples in the Digimon card game. Not only can these cards improve almost any deck, they are great to have in your collection. So, let's get started. First up, we have Death Xmon. This card can be played in any deck and is great for punishing opponents who play wide or rely on multiple tamers with the potential to play it for free. Death Xmon is widely considered to be the best card in the game and some even believe it should be limited. Personally, I don't think it's that overpowered. You're likely only going to run one in your deck. It's not a card you want to rely on, but rather a response to an opponent who may be getting too much board control. Next we have the OG Memory Boost cards. These cards are fantastic for searching for other cards in your deck and provide a nice memory boost, which is essential for the game. For only three memory, these cards offer incredible value. Their delay effect can give you an additional two memory, essentially making them cost only one memory. Delay is a great effect as it allows you to choose when to activate it. You can play one of these in the early game to search for your pieces, and then later delay it to gain that two extra memory to help you win the game. The OG Memory Boosts are just Powerful, awesome cards. You need these in your collection. Third, we have two types of cards that fulfill the same role. First, we have Blitz Omnomnimon. This card is meant to be played when your opponent is out of security, and you just need to get that last attack in to win the game. Omnomnimon does this job well. As long as you can digivolve into him, you can win the game with any amount of memory. Secondly, we have the hybrids. These cards work similar to Omnimon, except instead of using Blitz, you digivolve them onto your Tamer, and then Lobomon for game. <laughs> Both of these cards are great and they can help you steal wins. It just depends on your deck and the play style that really determines uh, which ones you're gonna want in your deck. If you got big blue and red stacks, then throw in that Omnimon, Blitz for game. If you are running more Tamers, then go ahead and abuse the hybrids. And if you can, run both of them in your deck. They're just really great. They're really great to help you win the game. I cannot tell you how many times these cards have just won me games. Another great card is Chimeramon. The more I play this game, the more I realize just how powerful this card is. It can take decks that might be struggling to keep up with the top tier decks and give them a huge boost. Decks like Jessmon, which is already strong, can also easily abuse Kamiramon. It can help build your stacks if you have pieces in your trash that you need and can boost your control of the colors you have in play. And finally, we cannot forget about Ice Wall. It's a staple in nearly every blue deck and for good reason. It's the best wall in the game. Ice Wall is limited for a reason. You could stack its effect and literally make your opponent pay four or even more memory just by attacking. Now that it's limited, you can only make your opponent pay two memory to attack, and that's still really great. It basically gives you a free turn. This card is best played when you effectively need to stop your opponent from attacking for a turn, giving you extra time to set up. So what do you guys think of our choices? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!